Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hamdan wa syukran ilallah. Salatan wa salaman ala rasulullah. Hello everyone. Uh, this occasion, we will discuss about the subject of phonetic and phonology. But before we start the discussion, I hope you all are ready to answer some questions. So, if you all are ready, so let's open our discussion with saying Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And the system of our discussion, I am as a moderator, I will read the question. And then I will invite one of you to answer the question. So to shorten the time, let's go to the question. The first question is, what do you know of communication, language, and linguistic? What are their different and how are they related to one another? Now, who wants to answer the first? Uh, moderator, I want to answer the first question. Okay, to Sister Astriani, I invite you to answer the first question. Please, Miss yours. Thanks, Moderator. Let me answer the first question. Communication is the process of exchanging information. Information exchange is carried out by the recipient and the sender of information. Information convey is in the form of message, thought, request, and desire. To the receiver of the message, the communication has two main points, namely participant and information. And how about language? Language is a communication system used by human and it's a form of a degree of, of express feeling, throughout, and what we want and what we need to recipient our message. In the form of symbol, sound, word, sentence, and gesture. That apply are in language. And linguistic is the study of how a language is from the systematically arranged and how a sound Speech, word, and system in language use is organized and systematic. And the differences between language communication and linguistic is that communication has a smaller area than language because communication is a part of language and language is something that is studied in linguistics while linguistics study about language, which is study problem in language properly. And the relationship between communication, language, and linguistics is that communication is the main basis in language process. And linguistics is the solution for the problem in language. Thank you, Madrata. Okay, thanks for your great opinion, Sister Andi Astriani. Um, maybe my answer is slightly the same as yours, but no problem. Now is my turn. I will state my answer. So, what is linguistic? What is language? And what is communication? Linguistic is the study of language structure, or firm. And language is one of communication tools used by humans to communicate each other. In the communication, um, are formed by knowledge of sound, word, phrases, and sentence, meaning, and culture. And communication is the process to sending message from a sender to receiver by using symbol. And communication has three components, namely the sender, message or topic and the last is 
the cipher. So what is the difference among them, among linguistic, language, and communication? First, linguistic is the study. Language is the tool, and communication is the process or practice. So what is relationship among linguistic, language, and communication? Linguistic, language, and communication is related one another. Why? Because we are communication with language. And uh, study about language is linguistic. So if we want to communicate well with uh, someone, we must learn these kinds of language. Especially for our department, um, we are the teacher candidates. We will not be able to teach uh, the language well if we don't know the knowledge about that, about the language. So, uh, and we are a human. We are used language as the tool of communication. So we must learn linguistic because someone will be able to do something properly if he has knowledge of what is being. Maybe that's all for me. Now I invite to brother uh, Muhammad Akil Musafar uh, to Muhammad Akil. Time is yours, please. Thank you for moderator. Uh, I will answer the the question. Uh, the first question is, what do you know of communication language, linguistic? Uh, what are the difference and how are they related? the one another uh, communication is an activity to convey information be it message ideas and ideas from one party to another then can be done directly or indirectly communication can be in the form of verbal or verbal and can also be done using language language is a means of human communication through sounds such as word, group of word, uh, clause, and sentence. Linguistic is the study of language and linguistic, including studying the component of language, namely phonetics and phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. The difference is that communication is a process to convey something that is either language a uh, Communication tool and communication is an activity to convey information. Everything is interconnected because uh, linguistic is the study of language, well, mistakes, uh, communication tool, and communication is an activity to convey information. Uh, thank you for me. Uh, I give for moderator. Okay, thanks for the good opinion. Now we are moved to the next question. Reverting to question one, in what area does phonetic and phonology belong? Please explain your answer in detail. Um, I invite to brother Muhammad Akil Musafar to give the answer about the second question. Time is sure, please. Uh, okay, thanks for moderator. Uh, my answer uh, to question one uh, is phonetics and phonology are in the area of language, study and linguistic, which the study the sound of language. Phonetics mainly focus on the study of the identification of language sounds and the formation of sound. What sound are in Language, how and where they are produced. Phonetics is related to speech sounds that occur in the language of the world. It makes an effort to figure out what sounds are, how they fall into patterns, and how they change under different. Well, phonology focus on how the sound of language and work together to form a series of sound pattern that can be understood. Uh, thank you for moderator. I give you. 
Okay, thanks for your great answer. Now we move to Sister Andi Astriani. Time is your please. All right, thanks, moderator. Now I will explain my answer to question of number two. Politics and biology are branch of science that study something, namely sound specifically in language. If we talk about quantity, to mention, we have to remember is that poetic study speech sounds in language. Three main concepts in phonetic are speech organ, speech sounds, and speech organ production. A true phonology concept in understanding phonology, namely the first thing concept that phonology study the arrangement of speech sounds. And the second concept study about how speech sounds are used in language. The differences between phonetic and phonology is the phonetic focus on studying sounds from aspect namely speech organ and speech sound and is phonetic uh, more focus on studying sounds in time a sound arrangement and how it used. The relationship between phonology and phonetic are can be likened to a button and wooden hole where phonology is wooden hole which explain how the three aspects of phonetic are practiced and phonetic is a button to explain more deep in speech chats. Back to moderator. Thank you. Okay, thanks for your great opinion. Uh, next, now is my turn. I think uh, phonetics and phonology are in the area of language study or linguistics, which examines the sound of language. But phonetics focus on the study of language sound identification and sound formation like uh, what sound exercises uh, in language, uh, how and where the sound are produced in the language. Well, phonology uh, focuses on how the language sound work together to form a series of intelligible sound patterns. Uh, and sound patterns divided into two, uh, contractive sound and non contractive sound maybe that's my opinion so we move to the next question do phonetics and phonology and pronunciation exist in the same area or context please explain your answer in detail and give examples if necessary Maybe I want to answer this question the first. Um, I think phonetics, phonology, and pronunciation are different. Why? Because pronunciation is the area of language skills. And pronunciation is one of language skills. Well, phonetic and phonology uh, are in the area of linguistics. Phonetic and phonology are the branch of a scientific study which uh, specifically examines sounds in language. Um, maybe that's all for me. Now we move to Andia Srimuliani. Time is yours. All right. Now I will answer the question of number three. Yes. All the three phonetic, phonology, and pronunciation are in the same area. I think they are both studying sounds in English. Phonetic is the study of sounds and speech organ. Phonology study the arrangement of speech and how to use. In language and pronunciation as a result of the two disciplines above. For example, 
If a student has tried the word to pronounce, could and for, is three four, even tall, she will have the same greeting. Then you will never be able to answer the questions. If you don't know about phonetic and phonology, why? Because it has a set of rules. According to Chomsky, if the element A meet a element B, is a result element C. Floor and cut both have the double O, but two words are both different because every word ending R is process the double O will be read O and cut is good. Back to moderator. Okay, thanks for your nice answer. Uh, now we move to brother Muhammad Haji Musafar. Time is yours. Thank you. I know I will answer a question for number three. Uh, phonetics, phonology, and pronunciation are different things. Phonetics and phonology are branch of scientific study and specifically study sounds in language. On the other hand, pronunciation is one of the language skill basically. Language skill consists of three types, namely productive skill, receptive skill, and productive class receptive skill. To clarify the position of pronunciation, it helps to briefly describe the skill. Uh, that's all me. Uh, I give for moderator. Okay, thanks for your great opinion. Now we move to the next question. What do you know of phonetics and pronunciation? What are the differences and how are they relate each other? For the first uh, answer, I invite to Sister Muhammad, not Muhammad, but uh, Sister Andi Asri Mulyani. Time is yours, please. All right, thank you, my director. Now I will answer question of number four about phonetic and phonology and how to relate in differences in pronunciation. So, my question is the same that. Phonetic is science study about three main points. They are namely speech sounds, speech organ, and speech sounds production. The first point is about speech organ. When we speak, we are speech sounds produced by the flow or air from the heart to the mouth. During communication, the wishes we confide has produced various quality of speech sounds. The second point is in quantity that discuss a special set of rules that produce speech sounds when people speak in particular language. And the third point is discuss about quality of producing speech sounds and the resulting sounds quality is consonant and vocal sounds. Pronunciations refer to the way in which is we make the sounds of word, change the sound that we are making. We mainly use the muscle of our mouth, tongue, and lips to control the shape of our mouth and the flow of air. The relationship between phonetic, phonology, and pronunciation is that Best in phonetic make us more natural in pronunciation and the differences between phonetic and pronunciation that phonetic is the study about sounds in language and pronunciation in a skill in speaking and the three study of language it's more differences to make our uh, speech more natural when we pronounce Back to my director, that's all for me. Okay, thanks for your good answer. 
Now I invite to Brother Muhammad Akil Musafar. Please, time is yours. Thank you. And uh, now I will answer question for number four. Uh, this question uh, What do you know of phonetics and pronunciation? What are their difference? How are they related to each other? Uh, phonetics is the study of the song of language without regard to the function of the sound as a differentiation of meaning in a language. Phonetics provide instrument for learning pronunciation effectively, such as articulatory, speech, segmental sound types, supra segmental sound types, and intonation and intersection. Pronunciation is the way a word or language is pronunciation. In addition, the pronunciation in it includes articulation, emphasis, intonation, correct pronunciation leads to more efficient communication and consequently better speaking result. Milin assert that English learn do not need to sound like native speaker but they still try as much as possible to reduce their action. Use proper intonation. In sentence, pronounce word clearly and correctly to make conversation smoother. And the difference is that phonetics is the science that study the sound of language without paying attention to the function of the sound as differentiation of meaning in a language where pronunciation only say a word or sentence with includes articulation emphasis and intonation the relationship is phonetics provides instrument for learning pronunciation effectively such as articulatory speech segmental sound types super segmental sound types intonation and intersection and pronunciation pronounce a word or sentence which includes articulation emphasis and intonation At that's all me. I give a moderator. Okay, thanks for your opinion. Uh, now it's my turn. So, what is pronunciation? What is phonetics? And the difference? And how are they related? Uh, the first pronunciation. Pronunciation is one of language skills. And phonetics is the science about sound of language. Focus on the study of uh, language sound identification and sound formation, like uh, what sound exists in language and how and where the sound are produced in the language. So the difference. The difference among uh, phonetics and pronunciation. In terms of area, the pronunciation is in the area of language skill, while phonetics is in the area of linguistic. So relationship, relationship among uh, phonetic and pronunciation. Phonetics provides instrument to learn pronunciation effectively such as uh, speech articulation like moan, uh, tonge, tip, and lips, and uh, types of segmental sound like uh, consonant and vowels, and types of suprasegmental sound like stress, intonation, and juncture. I think that's all my opinion. Uh, now we move to the next question. What do you know of phonology and pronunciation? What are their differences and how are they relate each other? I think I want to uh, answer this first. As I said earlier, that pronunciation is one of language skills while phonology is this kind about speech sound. 
focus on uh, how the language um, focus uh, how the language sound work together to form a series uh, intelligible sound patterns. So the difference, oh, yes. the difference among phonology and pronunciation. In terms of area, the pronunciation is in the area of language skill, while phonology is in the area of linguistic. So relationship among them. Same as phonetic, phonology is also the study of sound system. Phonetics should be uh, employed together with phonology, uh, especially to learn and to teach, like um, uh, how language uh, sound work in communication, like pronunciation. Phonology comes in handy to bridge the gap between um, theory study or uh, of phonology and learning English pronunciation skill, in which knowledge of phonology may be used uh, as a technique to learn English pronunciation effectively. Maybe that's all my answer about the question. Now I invite to Andia Srimulyani to answer that question. Time is yours. Thanks, moderator. Okay, so let me answer the questions on number four, five. In English, has many roles. The girlfriend, however, are pronounced. Phonology is the study of sounds in terms of their arrangement. Phonology is the study of sounds of the arrangement and how they are used and pronunciation in a skill in speaking. The relationship is that studying phonology before studying pronunciation. We may have asked to make something a mistakes and incorrectly when we communication. Mistake that cause misunderstanding in communication. The differences between phonology is the study about the roles of speech and pronunciation, the skill of speech. That's enough for me. Back to the moderator. Okay, thanks for your great opinion. Uh, now I invite to brother uh, Muhammad Akil Musafar. I'm yours. Thank you for moderator. I will answer uh, the, the question number five. Uh, the question is, what do you know of phonology and pronunciation? What are their difference? How are they related to this other? Phonology is a branch of linguistics that study the sound of language, the process of their formation and change. Phonologists need to use the word to describe how sounds function and change to form English meaning. Jara states that phonology refers to pattern of phonetic elements used in the phonological form of meaningful entities of language. How sound function to form meaning meaningful entities in language is realistic through pronunciation. Pronunciation is the way a word or language is pronounced. In addition, the pronunciation in includes articulation, emphasis, and intonation. Correct pronunciation leads to more efficient com communication and consequently better speaking result. Milin assert that English learn do not need to sound to sound like native speaker, but they still try as much as possible to reduce their accent. Use proper intonation in sentence. Pronounce word clearly and correctly to make conversation smoother. In contrast to phonetics, phonology is the study of both sound and its meaning. So this phonology explores the difference 
when a sound is produced. Meanwhile, the pronunciation is only based on the right intonation in the sentence, saying the words clearly and correctly, so that the conversation becomes smoother. The other sheet is the phonology, bits the gap between theoretical study of phonology and learning English pronunciation skill, where knowledge of phonology can be used as technique to learn English pronunciation effectively. Hey, that's me. I give for moderator. Thank you. Okay, thanks for your great uh, opinion. Now we move to the last question. The last question is, what are the implications of phonetics and phonology on teaching English pronunciation? Please explain your answer in detail and give example if necessary. So to answer the question, I invite to uh, Sister Andi Asri Mulyani to answer the question. Time is yours, please. Thanks, moderator. My, my answer is by studying phonetic phonology in English pronunciation that we have only our knowledge through teaching in English language. Someone who has bad pronunciation that the, they don't have a good grammar or have a good vocabulary, but they didn't know their rules in language. Why the several people can speak in 15 of subject language because they have active language rules in our mind. When they begin learning in the new language, they have to face hard reality that English language is in the region phonetically, just like Indonesian and some English sounds don't exist in Indonesia. Phonology and phonetic, it's important to improve our pronunciation skill so that sounds of language can be understood nicely. With knowledge in their file, proficiencies in using spoken language become better. In teaching, as a prospective teacher, we are able to explain enoughly our chronology between phonetic and phonology to produce a quality speech so that students can more easily to understand how to learn the basis of language properly and correctly. That's now for me, back to moderator. Okay, thanks for your great uh, opinion. Now I invite to Brother Muhammad Akil Musafar to answer the question. Time is yours, please. Uh, thank you for moderator. I, I will answer the question for number one, number six. And the question is, what are the implications of phonetics and phonology on teaching English pronunciation? Please explain your answer in detail. Give example in the chart. Uh, this that English uh, learn don't need to sound like native speaker, but they shall try their best to reduce their accent. Use proper intonation in sentence. Pronounce word clearly and correctly to make conversation smoother. In addition, it shall also be underlined that poor pronunciation not only affect to speaking skill of the speaker but also uh, inference with the understanding of the original listener in the communication as they as they tend to recognize familiar voice uh, that's all for me thank you thank you Okay, thanks for your great opinion. Now it's my turn. Yes, implication of phonetics 
and phonology in teaching English pronunciation. Phonetics and phonology is very important to learn in teaching English pronunciation. Why? Because phonetics and phonology are the study about sound system. So uh, if you want to improve uh, one of the micro skill like pronunciation, uh, we must understand phonetics and phonology. The quality of the pronunciation of people who have the knowledge of pronunciation, uh, the correct sound is different from people who don't have it. Example, uh, uh, someone who read the Holy Quran, someone who read the Quran with knowledge of Quran, like Tajweed, will be different from people who read the Quran without knowledge at all. Maybe that's all for me. Um, because all the questions have been answered, so let's close our discussion by saying Hamdalah together. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So I am Nur Alif Hidayati as a moderator in this discussion. I say uh, sorry and thank you for your all participation, guys. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.